Hey guys, Shadow here, and we're back for episode two of This Week in News. So, for the second part, our first story is Oculus Halt's Linux production. And it's not just Linux, it is Mac OS X as well. So, Kirk, do you know Oculus? No, I do not. Oculus Rift is VR, virtual reality. It is a headset that you put on your head and you can see and move around like you're actually inside the game. Cool. It has controllers as well as an Xbox controller. We will have to see how it goes because it was announced at a price tag of 600 US dollars. And that's how much for us? Uh, 900. Jeez, that's ridiculous. Yeah, because you have to take half of what it actually is and add that onto it. So yeah, plus shipping. So even more. Yeah, thousand bucks. Thousand the, the Valve Steam VR will have Linux support when it comes to Steam OS because as much as it's coming to Windows, it's also coming to Steam OS because Valve owns the Steam VR as well as Steam OS. So that. So obviously it'll also have Linux production, whereas Oculus has said that it will only be for Windows when it launches. Linux is hopefully post-launch, and Mac they might start developing for it whenever the post-descent from the Apple hardware releases, so whenever the new Apple computers come out. More than likely, though, with Apple, you're going to have to get a Mac Pro. There's no gain around it. you got to get a highly expensive Mac Pro. Mm -hmm. That's... That's more than likely, so... We'll have to see what happens with that one. I have a feeling that there's going to be a couple of really mad people from that, so... Right. Yep. So the Skylake V Pro, in the end, will support Windows 7. Earlier in the week, or the week before, it's... Skylake was kind of, well, we're only going to support Windows 7, like... Or, sorry, we're only going to support Windows 10, like... Windows wants everybody to be on Windows 10, but in the end, they are going to support Windows 7. The difference between Windows 7 and Windows 10 support is biometric authentication, so your thumbprint, your face scan, all that's only going to be on Windows 10, not on Windows 7, as well as geotagging. So somebody steals your laptop, can't geotag lock it down on Windows 7, but you can on Windows 10, as well as another thing that they used is your hard drive can lock out if you're geotagged away. So like the example was if a doctor takes the laptop out of the hospital, he can't access the files of patients outside of the hospital because it's out of the location. So I thought that was pretty cool that they have geotagging now for examples like that because you don't want a doctor walking away with lots and lots of information and being able to see it. So Yeah, for sure. Now... The Surface Pro Power Recalls. The Surface Pro 4 is the only one who doesn't have this recall, but all the rest of the Surface Pros have been recalled for the power cords. It heats up and gets too hot. Power cords get hot? Yes, we know that. But apparently these ones got too hot, and that was the problem. So that's in recall state. Never fun having a recall on anything. So No. And then, Office is actually more powerful on the iPad Pro than anything else. Not really a shock, considering what the iPad Pro is. It is an extreme tablet. Mm -hmm. They they did a lot of work to it, and it's really good. Especially their Apple Pencil, actually. As expensive as it, as it is, it's a hundred US dollars. It seems pretty cool. Like, you can push down on it. And it does your different strokes. So you push down, you have a harder stroke. You kind of tilt yep. it to the side, and you've got this really nice brush stroke and stuff like that. So For sure. I think it'd be great practice. Like, I want to get into airbrushing. I think it'd be great practice for that, for learning how much pressure to put onto strokes and everything. So Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they designed a new draw tab. So tr draw with the Apple Pencil, and you can draw in your shapes and letters and everything into there. As well as... It has morph tools, which is kind of kind of cool when I was seeing it. You can draw your own morph into the next slide, and so 
thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Now, uh, where were we? Dropbox uses Windows Hello. Window Hello is your face scanning. So you have a webcam and it scans your face to see that you are actually you. Mm -hmm. Dropbox is now using it. So it keeps it more personal, but my problem is is if I get a haircut, will it recognize that I get a haircut and let me in? Oh, very true, very true. Yeah. That's always my scare scare with facial rec recognition is girl's got long hair and her bangs are usually down over one of her eyes. Is she going to have to move her hair every time that she wants to get into her computer or something? Very yeah. So also, for all you Android users out there, first of all, if you're on Samsung, you're not very secure. That was also released this week. Samsung says that they're into safety, but they don't support phones for that long. But they did come out with Android Marshmallow. Android phones yeah. are getting it first. So like Ones who come right from Samsung and all that are getting this right now. But I didn't realize this, but how you get it? Android operating systems onto other phones is you actually have to wait for your carrier to approve it and then through that then you can go to your carrier and get it which I think absolutely sucks that would be awful mm -hmm. yes yeah. I like who we have here who I'm with but to get a hold of them other than when you're buying your phone is a nightmare and they have kind of a monopoly in where we live so it would not be easy at all which really sucks but I guess one reason I don't have an Android for that reason so now this was kind of cool Trump code it is a satire code that was made that it's kind of cool like you can go try it out it will be in the description the story and then uh, in there is a link to it but it's just somebody doing satire for Python coding and it's basically Trump things that tr Donald Trump would say are things that you code with and if you put, type something in your code that doesn't work it will literally say Trump does not like that <laughs> it is pretty cool. I, uh, me being a coder, thought that was really cool. Oh, if you use a word that's been banned, the error message will read, Trump doesn't want to hear it. Or if you use one that's not common English, we have a country where to assimilate, you have to speak English. That is the warning. Like... Some other features are no floating point numbers, only integer integers, because America never does anything halfway. All numbers must be stri strictly greater than one million. The small stuff is inconsequ inconsequential to us. There is no import statements allowed. You cannot enter into the console because all code has to be homegrown and American made. <laughs> Oh my gosh. In its raw form, Trump script is not compatible with Windows because Trump isn't the type of guy to believe in PC. Oh that is a play gosh. on for progressive conservative. And the language is completely case insensitive. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's very satire. It was made in only a couple of hours. Like, usually in programming we use true or false but instead for trump code you have to use fact or lie <laughs> <laughs> and yeah the error messages the error messages that i read it's just there to criticize your code rather than help track them down so it's it's quite funny i played around with it for a little bit and i had a couple classmates that did as well and we got a good kick out of it so if you guys want to go see that check it out especially if you're into programming You'll laugh at it pretty good. So next story, Sony announces some pretty cool new products. A short throw projector. So you put it on the, uh, put it on a desk and have your projector on your wall. It was 
it's actually a pretty good picture for what it is. It can do 1080p, nice color format, and low light. So pretty cool for Sony to come up with that. As well as yep. to go with it, you have a glass Bluetooth sound speaker. I think that could be really cool. Like, it, it's this light glass speaker that has light inside of it. So it's kind of like, a, it looks like a lamp, but here in the end, it's a sound speaker. So it's not intrusive to your room. Because I know, looking around the room that I'm in, you see black speakers all over in a white and blue room. So it'll be nice that this will just fit right in and create light while it's at it, too. So Yeah, for sure. Now, these are expected in the U.S. by summer, but only the U.S. It's only in Japan as of right now, so... Which makes sense for Sony, so... Uh, Surface with wireless pen. This story has... It's... Microsoft filed a patent over the weekend, and in that patent... They came up with ideas for a wireless pen for it. So, wait, wireless pen. That's supposed to be a rechargeable pen. I'm sorry, guys. They came up with a patent for a rechargeable pen. You plug it into a USB slot and you can charge it. So instead of having your year-long battery life that you have in most of yours, it uh, recharges. And it's supposed to have indication lights on it for how, how much time you have left, which I think is really cool because... I absolutely hate having something wireless like that and it just going dead on me and me going, why are you dead? Like, what's going on? Did I mis disconnect something or is it actually that it's out of battery? So, I'm not looking at you, Apple Pencil. <laughs> so, Corsair released some brand new RAM. It has the new Vengeance LPX. It is DDR4 for quad channel on the X99 boards. And here's the big thing. It is 3000 megahertz. That is absolutely huge for stock. Especially Very. when you're talking about 128 gigabytes over 16 gigabyte sticks. First of all, that's a lot of RAM. That's I've got 16 and I don't think I need any faster. But 128. Guys who are working on workstations and stuff and want to render projects. I see where you want that, and yeah, I think that's awesome that they have that. Especially at that speed, that's a huge speed. Also, yep. the smaller Vengeance LPX, so for those 64 and 32 gigabyte sticks, they are available for dual channel on the Z170, which is awesome. Z170 hasn't been out for that long, and there's starting to be more stuff coming out for them, which is awesome that LGA 1151 needs some love. Uh, this is DDR4 again. For 64 gigabytes, you can have 3,333 megahertz clock speed. That is awesome. I I can't remember what mine is, but it's I think it's 2,400. No, nope. it's 1,666. Jeez, that's double. That is double what I have in my computer. And I think it's fast enough. So, guys who want really fast RAM, it's coming. They keep bringing mm -hmm. it. For 32 gigabytes, you can go up to 3,600 megahertz. So it just keeps getting faster. Our RAM is getting really fast. Computers are getting faster. I love to see it. The only thing I'm not looking forward to is self-driving cars. Yeah. There's a car in... California, I think it was California, California or San Francisco, I can't remember now, oops, I forgot to put this one on there, it had their first driverless car crash, they claimed that the driver took over it and the driver made the mistake of crashing into the cars, uh. something tells me that's not the case, just, just a hunch, but... Anyways, we can't say much. It was said that the the driver made the mistake, not the car. That was the final thing, so... Oh well. We did... I don't like driving cars. Comment in the, in the comments 
or what you guys think of them. That's going to be the question for the day is what do you guys think of self-driving cars? Are they something that you want or are you going to stay away from them? I know I am definitely staying away from them. So for sure. And for our last story today, we're going to... WhatsApp goes free. I guess WhatsApp was supposed to be the social media messaging kind of app. Um, you could talk to a lot of businesses on it, is fr- from what I understand. Yeah. So for them to go free, that's pretty sweet. It was usually a $1 annual after your first year, because your first year was free. And now it's mm-hmm. absolutely free forever. And it happened on Monday uh, that this happened. But for those who have already paid their yearly dis- subscription, sorry, no refunds. They have specifically said that there will be no refunds for people that have already paid. But come on, guys, it's a dollar. People are going to complain about that. Are we really going to complain over a dollar? So, especially when our dollar would actually be a dollar fifty. So. So that's all the news for this week. And this is just stuff that I especially like. Some of the stuff is what Kirk really likes. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. We want to keep doing this. Just kind of as a little chat, keep it up, inform on the stuff that we enjoy. So, yep. This shout out and Kirk, we're signing off for this week of news. I will see you guys next week. See ya.